hello everyone welcome to my unreal engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game so this time i'm going to show you how to add an enemy character to our game and when i move into the visible area or the site radius of this ai character he will come to me with the sword equipped right so like this so yeah it looks a little bit jerky for now but uh, we can fix it later so this is the basic okay so let's get started first I need to create the enemy character so this is my main character class and this uh, ch player this is the player class which is inherited or uh, extended from this ch human class now I'll create a child blueprint from ch human and I'll call it CH enemy right and this is the enemy class and as in the same as in the CH human class it has this sword attached and everything else so this character has all the abilities this CH uh, human class possess right so now i have to do some visual distinction to make it look different from the player and uh, the enemy character so here this is the player characters texture i have to do some photoshop and change this into this blue color and i'm going to use this texture for the player sorry enemy so this is the material of the knight this one and I'll create an instance so I'll name this my enemy and just uh, instead of this this one I'll use this blue colored texture right now I can use this material in our ch enemy here so this looks a little odd but that's yeah that's okay for now i only need to do some visual distinction just need to this enemy to look different from the player all right so i'll put this one in the world like this and let's see okay this is us and this is the enemy for now it doesn't do anything right so okay so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this anime character I'm going to give this anime character some AI so actually we did work on this anime character AI some AI human uh, in the episode let me check NPC okay here in 44th episode and here we have discussed about path finding AI navigation and stuff so that this uh, this AI human class is explained here so this is explained in those videos so if you are not sure you can refer to those videos I'm going to use this same AI class for this character all right so I'll delete this them first and I'm gonna leave this go to location method okay now 
I want this character to see our player character and when this character see the player character this character should equip the enemy character should equip the sword and walk to the player right so let's do that part first so AI human and to give this guy sight I'll add AI perception no component and here I'll add AI sight config right and in these settings I think let's leave them as the default values right and uh, I'll add another event graph called sensing and then I select this on perception update let's use this method this event is fired whenever this enemy character's perception status is updated that means when some this guy see some character or when this guy is moving out of the sight of that character so it can be either way as I think right I'll get updated characters let's check the other one as well okay okay so let's use this method we don't need this one and first whenever I get this character I should check whether is he uh, some ally character or the enemy character to do that I'll in my BPI character interface I'll define a method called is enemy under the fight and as the input I will give the team number so I, I have to define some team number variable for the ch human character as well now right so now here I'll add a new variable called team okay and this uh, the default value would be 0 and for this value uh, in the player I'll make that minus 1 so that it is this team is different from the other characters right now in my CH1 character first I have to make that this one should be a function with an output so as the output I'll put a boolean yes or no so right then I'll implement this method I just created in BPI in CH human so yeah we got this here right here so I'll go here and I'll first check if this uh, given team number is equal with my team number 
if it is true then I will be uh, an ally if it is false then I'll be uh, an enemy the return node uh, I should check if this is not equal like this right so now I go back to here and I'll do a branch and get this one and I'll e do this is enemy and yeah here I'm gonna need to know the tame number of my character so yeah we can't access this one access that because this ch is a pawn not ch human so for that i'm gonna have to add another method in this interface instead of is enemy i'll add get team and put it under fight and as the output I'll add an integer okay and team number now I have now I have to implement this method in my ch1 as well let's compile this and save if anything goes wrong right get team and return team like this okay so now I should be able to access that get team right so now I can plug it like this and get the team number of this uh, current AI character or the enemy character and then we can check if this uh, if my team is similar to the enemy's team the other one's team and from this output I can check if it is a uh, enemy character or a friendly character so if this is of an enemy character what I said is this if it is an enemy character this AI character should equip sword and move to the enemy character so I don't think we defined an equip method or anything ah yeah we have this toggle sword all right so let's toggle sword in here toggles right and equip true okay time to test let's see if this works okay this character should not be able to see me now and he does not hear anything as for the moment and let's see what happens if I go here are you seeing me? Hmm, it seems he is not seeing me why is that? let me check or maybe we can debug this ah the problem is I didn't at this AI human class as the AI class of this character enemy oh, yeah. here I'll add this AI human right now let's see
let's uh, move forward I still not see what's wrong let's debug this okay let me check I think I have to add AI perception stimulus source into my player in order to be able to see in by AI characters this one okay register as AI sense site now let's see if that works still no let me check again all right so now i figured out the problem is that under these settings we have detect by uh, detection by affiliation so detect enemies neutrals and friendlies but unfortunately uh, these variables are not revealed or accessible by blueprints so therefore i have to enable all these three and we can't use this these features with uh, blueprints as I found in the internet so therefore for now I'm gonna enable all three and also I have added this debug out so that it will be uh, print scene into the console and uh, when the character see our character or the player character and also I forgot to initialize this CH this one so here at the begin play I have to do this uh, get control for and set it like this at the begin play otherwise this ch variable would be null and this will not work this part will not work as we intend right so now I'll start from this side and go here wait did this guy saw us right okay so now this character is not equipped with the sword it's in the back so as I go into front yeah now he saw us and he equipped the sword so that's the first part and the next part is move into the player character right so to do that I'll go back to a human character and I don't need these things anymore toggle sword and I'm going to use this function I just I have created before and go to location and I'm going to get this one location get at location right so let's start from this side and I'll run into the around 
okay now he equipped but he's not coming to my place maybe I haven't let me check navigation right the problem is this does not have I haven't added the navigation invoker to this enemy class so I have to add that as well navigation invoker I have explained about this one in the previous videos as well so you can refer to them if you are not sure yeah now we got this area green that means there is navigation information right now let's start okay let's move around right he saw me and he's coming to me right he's a little bit shaking or something okay let's go out of his visible range and yeah he comes to us like a fool and all right so that's all for today and in the next episode let's work on how to actually start a fight and make someone get hurt and locking into character and stuff like that all right see you in the next video goodbye